Hello, this is Nick with Nick'sComputerFix.com and here's a quick video on how to speed up your computer a little bit and make it a wee bit faster. And by the way, it's free and easy. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. First thing is check your startup programs. Sometimes we forget that a lot of programs are being started up on your computer and you're not even using them. So the best way to go about doing that is go down to your taskbar here, find an empty space, right click, go up and click on Task Manager and that opens up the Task Manager window and we can go up here and under these tabs the first one that I want you to take a look at is the startup so I'll click there and right here you can see how many applications or apps that you have running um, on your startup that maybe you just don't need to have running in the background and you can disable them and as you can see I've disabled a few of them I did not need the iTunes helper so I disabled that as well as um, some others here and you know all you need to do to disable or enable one of these is simply right click and then click on enable and I'll enable the iTunes helper for me here or I can right click and say disable and that will disable that individual app um, on the startup so that it's not running and using up my resources like my um, RAM on my computer so that I have more resources for other applications that I want to use or games that I want to play. Also let's go ahead up to the next tab here or the last one is performance and I'll click on that and you can do the same and under performance the one I want to take a look at and show you is the memory here and you know this is where you can see just how much memory you have and what's it's doing and basic memory usage and on this computer here I have in use 4 gigabytes of memory and I have available 11.7 gigabytes now keep in mind I have a total of 16 gigabytes installed on this computer so I'm using 26 percent presently of my RAM and that's not too bad. Now keep in mind if you only have 4 gigabytes of RAM that's sufficient for running Windows 10 however if you double that to you know about 8 gigabytes um, you're going to have an increase in performance and you'll see a big difference in how fast applications start up and how much smoother they run. Now in my case I run a lot of uh, video editing programs so I am really happy with 16 gigabytes and uh, that helps me out on my video editing and uh, speeds up my rendering time. Okay, let's go ahead and close this out. You can certainly look at some of these other items under performance, um, but I did not want to go into them in this video because I wanted to keep this video um, short and not too long. All right, let me go ahead and close this out and go to the next item that we're going to talk about, and that is cleaning up your hard drive and, you know, giving yourself some uh, more disk space. And the way I go about doing it is I use C Cleaner, which is what I use to clean up my disk space on my hard drive here, and uh, or my SSD drive rather. And under custom clean, I take the defaults under the Windows tab as well as the Applications tab. And uh, once I am happy with what I have checked here, sometimes I'll check off something else, but basically the defaults are good for me. And I recommend you try those to begin with. Um, they're safe and, you know, they're not going to give you any issues. And once you are ready, go ahead and click on Run Cleaner and that will go ahead and go through um, you know like the internet browsers and other items and do I want to go ahead and close Firefox and right now I'm going to say no because I don't want to close it but you can say yes and once it's finished it'll tell you um, exactly what it's clean and how much it has cleaned for you so in my case um, I had 196.6 megabytes removed you could even have up to a gigabyte removed if you never cleaned your computer so you can gain back a lot of disk space alright let me go ahead and close this out and then also if you do want to go ahead and download CCleaner I do recommend that you download it from ccleaner.com 
That way you're not getting a copy of CCleaner that's not safe to run on your computer. This way you're getting um, the genuine CCleaner and you'll be in good shape. Okay, let me go ahead and close my internet browser down here. And I'll show you one other item is your RAM. And I mentioned that earlier. And, you know, if you want to upgrade your RAM, let me show you one of my videos. Um, that I did on how to upgrade your RAM and it happens to be called how to upgrade laptop RAM and how to install laptop memory 2019 faster laptop and for beginners now this is out on YouTube so I suggest you go ahead and uh, if you want to go out and search for it but I will also leave a um, link in my description so that you can get to this video really quick and see how to upgrade your RAM quick and easy. Alright, um, that's about the end of this video. I hope those uh, couple of tips helped you out and I think they will. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you like and leave a like if you like and be sure to share.